ever pondered the delicate art of navigating a romantic interest in a teacher. It's a tricky scenario that requires finesse, respect, and a whole lot of courage. In the next few moments, this guide will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to approach your teacher with romantic intentions, while maintaining the utmost respect and professionalism. First, it's crucial to remember that teachers are professionals. Their primary role is to provide an education, not to entertain romantic advances. However, if you truly believe there's a connection, it's important to approach it with sensitivity and maturity. Step 1. Evaluate your feelings. Before anything else, take a moment to consider the nature of your feelings. Is it simply a fleeting crush? Or is it something deeper? It's essential to be certain about your emotions before proceeding to the next step. Step 2. Understand the implications. Dating a teacher, especially if you're a student, could have serious implications. Be aware of the potential consequences for both you and the teacher. This includes the possibility of negative reactions from peers, parents, and even the potential for job loss for the teacher. Step 3. Wait until the appropriate time. If you're a student, it's best to wait until you're no longer in the teacher's class before making any kind of approach. This helps to maintain a level of professionalism and keeps the teacher-student relationship intact. Step 4. Approach with respect and honesty. If you've waited for the right time and still feel the same, it's time to express your feelings. Be respectful, straightforward, and honest. Respect their response, whatever it may be. Step 5. Accept the outcome. Regardless of their response, it's important to accept the outcome with grace. If they reciprocate your feelings, great. But if not, it's essential to respect their decision and move forward with dignity. In summary, pursuing a romantic interest in a teacher is not a decision to be taken lightly. It requires careful consideration, a deep understanding of the potential implications, patience to wait for the appropriate time, and the courage to express your feelings respectfully and honestly. And above all, the maturity to accept the outcome, whatever it may be. So the next time you find yourself catching feelings for a teacher, remember these steps. Evaluate your feelings, understand the implications, wait for the appropriate time, approach with respect and honesty, and accept the outcome. It's a delicate dance, but with maturity and respect, it can be navigated with grace and dignity.